Hey guys, Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Pardon me while I do this. Today I get to show you a super cool rig. Honestly, one of my favorite ones that's come on the lot. It's a 2016 or 2006, pardon me, Newmar Essex, a 45 footer. Um, the Essexes didn't have like a model number, so this is a Westminster is the model. A super nice rig, 45 footer. Got the tag axle in the back, but um, I don't really don't like to do long videos. I'll try and keep it quick, but this thing is just awesome. Um, side mounted cameras here as well as a, as a backup camera so you'll flip your blinker on it'll show you down the side of either side of the coach depending which way you're going uh, flip it in reverse and you'll see it straight out the back um, you have a door awning up here which I have to point out because when you're using them it makes a big difference having the door awning here um, if we're taking off shoes keeping this area dry keeping it clean on the inside um, but let me show you a little bit around this thing oh it's all locked We'll skip that door for now because I got things locked. But big basement storage. You got the nice big Joey bed here. Um, in that bay that I couldn't get open, you'll see you have a basement freezer in here. Um, the Joey bed slide about 60% eh, of the way out. And that's comes out more, but the tire is bumping that little guard there, so I'm not gonna struggle with it right now. Um, here you'll see it comes with all the window uh, window covers and things like that. Um, not a huge deal, but it just kind of shows you how much the previous owner cared for it. Um, and just such a nice unit. I mean, all your, your frame for it's all enclosed in here. So absolutely no rust on this thing on the, on the frame. Um, just perfectly black, perfectly clean, looking good. Ugh. More storage in there. Here we have the outdoor entertainment system. Um, could use a, a 2022 update. But it'd be easy stuff. Your bones are there. A new TV, maybe a new head unit. But these speakers are top of the line. I wouldn't plan on changing those out. Those sound great. Um, but yeah, maybe putting in a new TV, if you're gonna use this space, would be a good use of it. But even here, you see the quality, where this is like a Corian type thing on your outside TV. Like, most places don't, or most rigs don't even use it on the inside. And this one's nice enough to use it on the outside. Um, we've got some newer Michelins on here. This is a four slide unit. Um, as you take a step back, just take a look at the whole thing. It's straight, no DLAM, no checking. The beautiful paint on it, um, I mean, damn near perfect. It's got maybe small little things, but it's damn near perfect. Um, big box awning up top, that comes out probably about 10, 12 feet. And then you have window awnings all the way around this thing. But uh, I, I'm not just saying this because I'm making this video right now. This is hands down the best driving motorhome I've ever driven. Um, come come test it for yourself if you don't know. I mean, this is a Spartan chassis. Uh, it's got a Cummins ISM 500 in the back and an Allison 3000 transmission. It rides nice, like really nice. Um, and just the construction of it, you'll see on the slide you have the locks for the slide unit. Um, not something that changes the way it rides, but just shows you the quality of the rig itself. Um, your tag axle, this rear run will lift up because with Newmar, on this coach, I think you can cut those front wheels like 55 degrees to the point where you're almost just pivoting on your back tires. So um, you don't have to pick the tag up, but you should because you're just gonna be dragging rubber around if you don't because you're turning so sharp. So in tight corners in a parking lot, um, you can lift that tag up and it's gonna turn a little bit easier. Lots of batteries on this thing. It's set up correctly. Chassis batteries down below. Some of your house batteries there and some more here you do see a little bit of oxidation on that that is just very typical with where you have your batteries happens through electrolysis that's about it on the entirety of the coach as far as the rest goes so you do see a little bit there but it's cosmetic it's going to happen on battery bays um, coming to the back you'll see that cummins ism 500 there's a the whole motor the red top motors Read about them, see what people say. They are some of the best ever put in these rigs. Um, easy access, you have a side mounted radiator, cools it a little bit better, gets fresher air. Um, it makes it so much easier if say you just need to change a, a serpentine belt or something like that, you can get right to it. And then easy access for um, you know engine oil. Um, what is this your transmission oil? Yeah, transmission oil, um, coolant, air filter, everything's just really, really easy to get to. Um, you got a block heater built into here, so that's run off of a switch, but you have a plug for it there, so you can manually disconnect it. Um, rated for, I think, 15,000 pounds on this thing. 
15,000 pounds at the hitch. Um, you can pull anything you want. You pull two Humvees if you want. Um, but yeah, you, you got setups for it, seven pin. Um, in case you're riding air ride or air brakes, you have air brakes there, or you know, seven pin to run electronically. However, you're choosing to do it. Um, this guy goes away when you're traveling, but just to get to the roof, you do have a walk-on roof up there. Um, nice flagpole up top, so you can run a big flag, show your patriotism. Um, and then we have the backup camera there in the dome to keep it clean. Here we have our other two slides. I didn't mention on the other side, but we have slide toppers on each of the four. I'm um, going to keep your seals a little bit cleaner, going to keep some of that moisture out, keep your seals lasting a little bit longer. Our big side mounted radiator, trans cooler, um, intercooler, everything there. Ugh. That must be a switch. Anyway, powered reel on your power cord, super duper nice. Again, just one of those things that once you have that, you never want to go without. Um, more power hookups in here, but just a nice setup. Again, you, you don't want to, once you've had a powered reel, you never want to go back to reeling up by hand. Um, and I'm going to skip with the basements because most of these things are locked. Um, but nice big window awnings here too. I mean, this is almost the size of an awning as you see on a rig for its main awning, but just not quite as deep. So it'll come out, it'll pull down a little bit. Um, everything's powered on here. So even your window awnings are powered. You'll see we have the buttons here for all those uh, window covers that I showed you in the basement. And then, let's see, I'll run this puppy out because this is a big one. So that's sliding the Jenny out. And that is an Onan 12,500 watt generator. I mean, that thing is a power plant. Comes right out, easy for maintenance. Uh, fairly low hours on the thing, 450 hours, not much. I've got it running right now and it's it's fairly quiet. It's a owning quiet diesel. They do a heck of a job. They last forever and they power everything you need them to power, that's for sure. It's nice to have that big power plant when you got everything going on that this rig has. Let's take a look at the inside and we'll We'll check it out a bit. But just one of the highest quality rigs I've been in. Ooh, we got the heat on in here. Nice. Let's close that door here. I'll let you in. I'm gonna close that door behind us. Keep some heat in here. Um, got the heat pumps going right now. And uh, I'm actually very surprised. Normally heat pumps take a little while to make a difference. It's already 20 degrees warmer in here. Um, three AC units on the roof. Uh, I believe actually all three of those are heat pumps. So you have electric heat on each of them. Um, you have an aqua hot system on this rig. So that's gonna actually heat your floors. Gonna give you pretty much endless hot water um, as well as a, a third way to heat your rig because you do have a propane furnace as well. Um, so like this venting on the floor you see up front is actually for that aqua hot system um, that'll run hot water, hot coolant basically throughout the coach and that'll push air past it, giving you another way of heat and just kind of pulling it out of the floor because you're gonna have, like I said, heated uh, heated floors with this rig. Um, super nice uh, seats here. This guy does come up and cover, uh, or sorry, come up and for a leg rest. Um, kind of a different step here. Let me show you how to do that. Instead of it sliding out, it folds up. Once that's locked in, you can absolutely walk on it, nice and strong. And then when you're sitting here, getting up to go to the bathroom, you don't bust an ankle trying to get up. Um, and then also, you know, these seats swivel. It can make for a little bit more space back here um, when they're swiveled around. Both of these chairs are heated as well. Um, so I think it's two stages of heat. Um, and then, a, you know, eight-way seats. They go up, down, side to side, twist and shout up and about, all that stuff. Um, easy access to your power controls here. Very smart system. What I've told the people that have seen this rig, it's Numar Essex. It's the highest, highest of the high for Numar. If uh, you have to ask if it has it, chances are it just does. Um, that Hydro Hot, Aqua Hot system, um, it does have a 110 element too, so you're not always just having to burn diesel. Um, you can hook it up to 110. If you're running off of uh, shore power, you're not wasting any fuel that way. 
Um, but that diesel burner is great because you got what, a 200 gallon fuel tank on here. You're not going to run out of diesel if you're paying any attention to it. Um, and in here, I'll just, I don't like making such long videos, but this thing has so many features. I don't want to leave stuff out. But even like your draw curtains, where are they? Even those are powered. Like, look how fancy this is. I don't know. And they're magnetic up front, so when they connect, they just click together nice. Oh, I didn't do it. But there's your magnets, they just clip together. Super duper easy, super nice. Um, you have access, uh, control of all your awnings there, whether they be for your door awnings or your window awnings or your main awning. Um, super cool seating here. Gotta love these. These are like the zero gravity Euro chair type ones. So that folds up. Oh, not reclined. There we go. See? Let's end the video here. Um, it is real tile on the floor. I just spoke with someone on the phone and they asked if there's anything wrong. And the only thing I could even think of on the entirety of the rig is this. We do have a small crack in the tile here, a minor thing. It's not going to affect the way you use the rig at all or the way it works. Um, but just to give you an idea of how perfect this coach is, that's it. That's all I got. Um, now this is a, a quad slide, so these two come in. It's still a very usable space even when they're both in. Um, but this kind of becomes more of a hallway type space, so this will fold away. And then it actually goes in, I don't know if you can see it moving, it's kind of slow, in and out on a power switch and then up and down as well, depending on how you're using it. If you're doing crafts, you might want it higher. If you got kids sitting here eating, you might want it lower. So just, I mean, fancy. So there's dinette, nice living space here. This guy does scissor out into a bed. Oh yeah, this one took me forever to figure out. Okay, so release it there. You get a little bit of storage. And then somewhere in here, if I can remember, there's a release for the thing. I know this makes for thrilling videos, watching me figure this out. And that folds down into a bed there. You do have seat belts here as well for the little ones or whomever might be traveling with you. Um, but super nice. I mean, come and see this thing. So, because I don't know the videos do it justice, but it's just made so well. It's cherry wood throughout, awesome finish to it. Makes it nice and smooth, easy to keep clean. And they didn't skip on anything. Everything is made this way. If you go throughout the coach, it's made so well. Um, Corian type counter, solid surface counter. This is one of the things I like to point out just because when you're shopping for them, you might not pay as much attention to this, but when you're an owner of them, having like this here, this kind of guardrail for this area, this is going to be one of your favorite things about the coach because when you're going to travel somewhere, you're traveling for two hours this day, you know, you're not traveling very far. You don't want to have to put everything away and then take it back out when you get there two hours from then. You just tuck it right in here. It's not going to go anywhere. Soap, whatever you have on the counter. It's just the stuff you love about them when you're, when you're out using them. Um, yeah, that has got some heft to it. That is nice stuff, but you have the doubled in porcelain sinks here. What these are is purified water, your regular faucet, just control soap, and instant hot. So that's like near boiling water. So when you're cooking spaghetti, it's already pretty much done for you. Um, good storage in here. Man, I'm happy we have the heat on. I might just hang out in here all day. Um, and then cabinets that pull out. Got three of those down here. Down here is a, oh, turn that off. Oops, wrong button. That is the dishwasher. Here we have the, what is that? Uh, conductive, conduct, conduction, conduction two burner there. So that run electric. Um, you do have a 2000 watt inverter on here, so you're able to run all this stuff without uh, without turning on your Jenny. But of course, you've got that nice big generator for when you do want to run it. Um, in here for appliances, you've got the plug, you put a toaster in there, whatever you're traveling with, that goes right in there. It has a home. Uh, and really just everything's done so right on this rig. Even, even the inside of the cabinets is constructed well. You get good storage throughout the thing. I have to mention, I don't know if it's showing up well in the video, but this strip lighting is just super duper cool. You got the nice halogens front to back. It can easily be put into LED if that's what you prefer. 
It's such a cool rig. Um, big microwave convection oven there. Um, I'll start going faster. I'm taking too long. Big four-door, two-way fridge. It's a Norcold. It's about as big of a two-way fridge as you'll see. Ice maker up top. Um, the TV that, that swivels out. This is one of the coolest mounts I've seen. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to really show you too much. It's kind of a different mount style in here. So this will articulate however you want it to, go side to side um, like that. It'll even go more flush with it. Let me see. I don't want to bust it. Um, but yeah, those legs go flat so you can put it up against the wall. But good entertainment system there. Um, good place to see. You can see it from every seat in the house, um, including the driver and passenger seat. Um, just the right way to be. Um, good storage underneath the TV here. Um, this is a very expensive um, uh, stereo uh, deal. Um, why am I like amplifier stereo? But anyway, it's got all the inputs. It's got a Bluetooth, um, USB. You can put you know memory cards in it, um, and it's just high, high end. It's going to power the speakers in here very well. It's going to make a very, very nice setup in here. Um, it's going to be loud and it's going to sound good. Um, coming on into the bathroom area, you'll see we have the washer dryer combo right here with some storage up above for laundry things. Nice big vanity out here. Guy slides out for a little bit extra space when you need it. And again, the things you love when you're an owner of them is this kind of stuff, having stuff to keep your toothbrushes behind. You don't have to put all the little stuff away when you're traveling. Um, easy access to your breaker panel here. Breakers, breakers, fuses, um, some more awning controls. Your slide outs are tucked away, hidden in there. And then just medicine cabinet here. Um, here, I'll show you the shower first, and then we'll look at the commode. Um, one of those things that I'm sure you can see it in the video, but shows better in person. It's like a real Korean style shower. It's not just a drop in pan here. Um, I mean, really, really well constructed. Just so cool. I wish they still made rigs like this, but they don't. Um, but anyway, good, good, good space. I can get my hands all the way up. I'm like 6'3", um, and I fit in here great. I mean, that's a, that's a good size shower. Even the shower head's high enough. You got a grab handle. Um, super duper cool. This goes up and down as well so that you can, you know, adjust it for people of different height. That's super cool. Squeeze by. Show you the most exciting part of the commode. But you have your second sink in here, another little medicine cabinet, um, and controls for your water pump so you don't have to turn it on, turn it off before and after you leave. Um, more lighting in here, nice little magazine rack, and then good storage behind your, your commode there. No wasted space here at all. And then there's a porcelain potty, which to me makes a big difference. It's much more comfortable. And then moving on into the bedroom of this 45-foot beauty, you have a full-size king bed. That is full length, full on king, super comfortable. Uh, may look tall. That is in part to this pad here and also a fairly tall mattress. You can see that the actual stand is no higher than my knee. So if that's a concern of yours, don't let it be. That's something that's just the mattress that's on there. But look at all the good storage you get above it. You get a little bit of side storage here for small things. I mean, it's a king size bed. Look, you have space there. Um, but outlets there, outlets there for powering whatever you need on here. Again, you have, I think, 4,000 watts of inverter power and then 12,500 watts of generator power um, with the big battery base. So you're, you're set to go for quite a while um, without having to turn on a Jenny or, or be hooked up to power. Let's see. And then here's a, the control system for your kind of everything. Super duper nice there. Uh, more storage up top. And then this is a TV back here that's just kind of a one-way mirror um, that's covering it just to give it a little bit more class, but looks really nice. But yeah, so super nice setup. I'm, anyway, the, I'll just start with the features that this thing's got going on it. Um, it's a Cummins ISM. It's a 500 horsepower motor paired with an Allison six-speed transmission sitting on a Spartan chassis. And I, I mentioned to you outside, this thing is the best driving rig I've ever driven, hands down. I mean, not, not even close. It drives incredibly nice, super quiet, super smooth. 
um, you have 2,000 watt invert, or sorry, like 4,000 watt inverters. Um, so two 2,000 watt big boys. Um, the Hydra Hot Aqua Hot System Diesel Fire Furnace going to give you radiant floor heat, basically endless hot water. Um, you have electric heat pumps on the roof, so you're not wasting propane when you don't uh, want to burn fuel. And then you have the two ways of burning, uh, making heat by burning fuel. You use the diesel fire or the propane furnace. Um, I don't know, I'm just blanking. There's so many things on this rig. Um, you're loaded. You got the outdoor freezer. You got the big, big four door freezer there. Um, just beautifully kept. I mean, when it comes to build quality, I, I don't even know where to put it um, compared to others. It's just so nicely done. You're all solid wood valances all the way around. The attention to detail on these things is just incredible. Um, it has a dishwasher. Um, I mean, what more could you want? This thing is loaded um, and classy done. It's not overdone where you know it's gaudy it's it's just about perfect um uh, 12,500 watt generator i mean it's it's the nicest of the nice in my mind it's 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 right up there with marathon coaches with how nice it is so um if you guys are interested i got this thing at a good price i don't think it's going to last very long i've had a lot of interest in it but if you're watching this video um and it's still available please give me a call and say, see if you can grab it uh, it's a 2006 Newmar Essex, 45 footer. Uh, it's the Westminster model. Uh, it's got just about everything right on it. It's it's perfect. So anyway, guys, thank you for checking out this video. Sorry it was a little bit long. Um, kind of had to take my time on this one. It's such a nice coach. So, uh, sorry to drag it out. But anyway, I'm Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Y'all take care.